Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our denim poncho tutorial. So get your yarn ready. I'm using these two colors of just regular Kenyan acrylic. It is a size four weight or size four thickness worsted weight ac acrylic. So just whatever you have going on that is uh, a size four worsted weight thickness. I'm using a six millimeter hook. If you're using a different yarn, you can use whatever hook size goes along with your yarn. So I'm gonna start with this blue color. It's called denim. So to start, we're gonna start with this making a slip knot. So I just do it by putting the tail over my hand and pinching it down on my ring finger, wrapping the yarn around three fingers and just taking my working yarn and sliding it under. There's other fancier ways of doing it, but that's what I learned when I was a kid and that is how I still do it. So we're gonna make a slip knot, shrink that down and put it onto your hook. This we need to leave a pretty long tail. We need to sew that in later, but you'll see when we get there. Now we're gonna chain two, one, and two. We're gonna start by doing single crochet foundation, which means we're gonna be doing our chain and our single crochet at the same time. So we've done our chain two. Take your hook and just poke it into that V. Poke it into that very first V. You can count your stitches one and two. So into the first V that you made, poke your hook in grab your yarn and bring it back. Now pull your hook up a little bit, grab your yarn and bring it through one of the loops, so that's your chain. And now wrap your yarn, pinch that stitch that you just made, pinch that with your thumb and your finger. Wrap your yarn and take off two loops. So you did your chain and your single crochet. And now we're gonna do the same thing into this stitch we were pinching. So just slide your hook into where you're pinching, grab your yarn and bring it back chain one, so wrap your yarn and bring it through once. So pinch your thumb and finger into that stitch, wrap your yarn and take off two. So we did our chain and our single crochet. Now into where you're pinching, put your hook in, two loops of yarn on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Chain one, so there's your chain. Pinch your chain, wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's your single crochet back into where you're pinching, slide those two loops onto your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it through, pull it up. Chain one, pinch the chain, wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's your single crochet. Back into where you're pinching, two loops of yarn on your hook from that stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Do your chain, so wrap your yarn and take off one wrap your yarn and take off two and there's your single. And you'll notice as it gets bigger that the chain stretches the same as the, the single crochet. So that helps you never have a tight chain anymore. Back into where you're pinching, so push your hook in. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Chain one, pinch your chain, wrap your yarn and do your single crochet, so take off two back into your chain where you were pinching, grab your yarn and bring it to the front, wrap your yarn and make another chain, pinch your chain, wrap your yarn and take off two for your single crochet. So we're just gonna keep going like this until we have 60 of these stitches. So we're doing our chain and then we're doing our single crochet. So chain, pinch it, single crochet chain, pinch it, single crochet. Back in, chain, pinch it, single crochet. So we're gonna keep working all the way along until we have 60 of these stitches. We'll count your stitches to see if you have 60. I just wiggle my fingers in between. It's a little trickier with single crochet but you can also just count at the very top. So here's a stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you can put a stitch marker in ten. So that one is number ten. And now we have 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I went too far. Leaving that stitch where my stitch marker is. So now I have 60. Great. We can take out our stitch markers if you used stitch markers. So without stretching, it's 18 and a half inches or 47 centimeters. So you want to make sure it's not twisted. This is going to be around your neck. So you want to make sure that it's pretty. We don't want any mistakes right where people are going to be looking. So now into this first stitch, which is this one here, I'm going to slip stitch to join. So put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back and bring it through that loop. So that is joined up and chain three. One, two, three. Now into this very first stitch, right where we slip stitched, wrap your yarn and make two double crochets. One and two. Like that. And now we're going to skip a stitch. So we're skipping this stitch. And we're going to go into the second stitch and make three double crochets. To make a double crochet, you wrap your yarn and go into the stitch. Two loops of that stitch on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So again, wrap your yarn, go into the very same stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. And again, wrap your yarn into the same stitch. So we're doing three into the very same spot. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So we're going to keep doing this all the way around, skipping a stitch and into every other stitch or every second stitch, doing three double crochets the entire way around. So your work is going to look like that. Don't worry about this join being weird. That's why we left a long tail. We're just going to sew that together later with a darning needle or a yarn needle. So keep going around and we're just making the yoke that's going to go around our neck. So keep going, skip a stitch, three double crochet, skip a stitch, three double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you when you get close to this side. Now when you get back to where you joined, you want to see this. You want to have three stitches left because you know you're going to skip one, go in, skip one, and you've already done it. So three double crochets into this last stitch that we're doing our double crochets. So it'll look like that. Still don't worry about this weird thing down there. We're going to fix that later. But for now, just don't even look at it. Now find the top of the chain three. So you're going to look for these little V's. One, two, and three. And into the top of the chain three, you're going to push your hook in. You want to make sure you're into that stitch. You want two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. And then instead of slip stitching, we're going to wrap our yarn and do a single crochet. So wrap your yarn and take off two. So that kind of leaves us in this corner space and we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now into this big space here, this big hole, we're going to do one double crochet. There we go. And if you want to just keep track, if you're new to crocheting, you can put a stitch marker into this big hole here. That is going to mark our corner where we have to finish off. And when I have to pay attention, I use red just because in my head I'm like, it means stop. So if I get close to it, I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. It's also a good time to put a stitch marker into your stitch. And we'll just do some calculating while we're here. So we're going to have a corner here. This is going to be the back of our poncho. And exactly opposite on this side is going to be the front of our poncho but it's the easiest to find out where it is going to be right now. So the long and short, there's going to be 15, there's 30 of these sets of three all the way around the collar. So there's going to be 15 on this side and 15 on that side. So you can do it any which way. You can be busy counting to 15 or you can fold it in half and line them up with your fingers. So I'm just lining them up. I'm pushing my fingers through both of those sets of three shells through both of them and lining them up. 
So I'm just wiggling all the way along and this one here is the opposite side. So this is going to be a corner over here. So I'm going to pop a stitch marker onto that one. And of course you can always just count to make sure you have 15 of these shells on each side. 15, 15. So that is exactly front and back of our poncho and now we're ready to keep going. And leave these stitch markers in. That's handy for us. So we're going to be doing one double crochet into each stitch all the way around and this beginning chain, this here is a stitch. Our chain three counts as a stitch and this hole is where we can work into it. Can you see that spot? So I'm going to go into that spot and then on the next one I'm going to pick up this front loop and pick up the back loop and then so there's a stitch, here's a stitch and then each one of these is a stitch going all the way around two loops of these V's on your hook counts as a stitch. So let's do it. Wrap your yarn and go into this hole that's the top of the chain. So that's going to be our first double crochet of the row. And our next one, so pick up this front loop, the loose kind of looking bit, and grab the last one. So there's two loops on your hook and do your double crochet. And now each one of these V's going all the way around one double crochet into each until we get to that spot with our stitch marker. So getting close just make sure you get into that last stitch and now we're at our stitch marker. So take your stitch marker out and into this space so not into the stitches but into the space we are going to do two double crochets into the space one and two and now chain two, one and two, slide those stitches back a little bit because you want to still be working flat onto, the, onto that stitch. You don't want to be working onto the double crochets you just made. And now wrap your yarn and two more double crochets into the very same stitch. So this is going to be the very front of our poncho. So you want those stitches all laying down nicely and behaving. And now get your stitch marker back. Let's pull that up a sec and put your stitch marker back in your chain two spot. So we'll know that that is going to be our corner. In case we're going really fast, which of course we are, we're going to slow down and be like, oh hold on, I got to do something different when I reach my stitch marker. So put that loop back on your hook and now we're going to keep going doing the same thing. Oh on this one, pull your corner back again because you have to get into that very first stitch. This stitch here is underneath these doubles. These doubles cover it up. So pull them back and get into this very first stitch. So get into that guy. So it almost looks like there's like too many stitches in that corner, but don't worry about it. And now one into each stitch going all the way around and I'll meet you when you reach your other stitch marker. So when you get to your stitch marker, make sure you get into that last stitch. And we can take our stitch marker out, but we keep it handy. Now into this space, we're going to finish the corner, so two double crochets, one and two, just into that big space. And now to join, we're going to chain one and join with a single crochet. So look for the top of the chain three, one, two, and three. Go into that stitch, two loops of the stitch on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is a chain one single crochet join. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and into the same big space, one double crochet. Now we can put our stitch marker back. If you're an experienced crocheter, you don't need to put the stitch marker, but if you're starting out, stitch markers really do help. So now we're going to keep going, doing the same thing. So we're always going to go into this chain and we're always going to go into the weird stitch after the chain. We're going to do one double crochet into each of these stitches all the way around. In our corners, we're going to do two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Push your stitches back, make sure you get into this first stitch and then keep going all the way around. 
So we're gonna keep going, doing this for a total of five rows. So we've done one row and two rows. So we need to do this three more times. Our corners are two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Make sure you go into that stitch right after your corner and make sure you go into the two stitches right after the join. So keep going and I'll meet you when you have your five rows finished. When we get back to the corner, into your last stitch, a double crochet, and into the corner, our two double crochets into that corner space. And now we're finished with this yarn color for now, so we are going to chain two, one, and two, and slip stitch to the top of the chain three to join. So just count those Vs, one, two, and three. Poke your hook in, getting two loops of that stitch onto your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn, and cut your yarn. So with this tail, we can work it a little bit around this corner. So just into these back loops, just the one loop at the back, grab it and pull it through. These two that go across the corner, like that. And the next one, like that. And then, just so it's worked over a little bit. So now turn your work and get your next color of yarn. Put your hook in and loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain four. One, two, three, four. If you joined your yarn in a different way, you wanna do a chain five. We're gonna count this stitch at the very bottom as our first chain. So this counts, three counts for our double crochet and two for going across the corner. Wrap your yarn and double crochet into that same corner space. Chain one into this very first stitch because now we're working into the back so the stitch is after the post. Wrap your yarn and into this little dimple there, into here, one double crochet, chain one, and into the, not into the next stitch, we're gonna skip a stitch and into the second, the second dimple, one double crochet, chain one, wrap your yarn into the second stitch, one and two, into the second stitch, one double crochet. So now we're going around making these boxes all the way around our poncho. So chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the second stitch. Chain one, skip one. So not into the next one. We're going into the second to make a double crochet. So keep going like this along this side and I'll meet you at the tip of the poncho. Getting back to the tip, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, skip one. So it works out to be just that last stitch before the corner. Get into it properly. So double crochet, chain one into the corner space, double crochet. Now the only thing we're doing different is we're gonna do a chain two, one and two, and another double crochet into that same corner space. Chain one, and we're gonna go into this. We wanna make it matching, so whatever you did on this side of, your, of the corner, you wanna do on the other side. So we're gonna go into that very first stitch and make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the second. And now work your way all the way back along this side and, to, and I will meet you when you get up to the join. And now do the same thing as we did on this side. So we did a double crochet, chain one, wrap your yarn, and go into this last stitch right by the corner and make your double crochet. Chain one, and we are going to slip stitch to the top of this chain three, counting this where we joined as one of the Vs. So one, two, three, leaving two chains open there, like this. Grab your yarn and bring it through, and slip stitch to join. Now we have to slip stitch also into the space. So slip stitch into that big spot over there, and turn your work. So now we're working on the pretty side of our poncho again, macaroni down, but you can see just from turning our work the one round, it's, it's starting to curl the opposite direction. So this'll just help it lay really nice and flat and not curl up. 
So now on this side, it looks weird because your yarn is all kind of like it's coming from the front. We just turned our work. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Do a chain three. One, two, three. It'll look like that. Don't worry about it being totally in the middle. It's fine. Wrap your yarn. We're going to do four more double crochets. Or we're going to do four double crochets. This counts as our first double crochet. Four double crochets into that first space. So one, two, three, and four. Now pull your hook up to make a bigger loop and take your hook out. Now go back to your chain. You want to find the chain three, or the top of the chain three. So one, two, and three. And push your hook into that stitch. Get your loop, put it back on your hook, shrink it down, and pull your hook through that stitch. And chain two. One and two. Now into this next space here, we are going to do a single crochet. So just straight into that space and single crochet, chain two, and popcorn into the next space. So we're going to work into each space doing a single crochet, a popcorn, a single crochet, a popcorn, a single crochet, a popcorn, all the way along until we get to the other end. So a popcorn is five double crochets. Three, four, five, and five. Pull your hook up, making a bit of a bigger loop. Take your hook out and put your hook into the top of that first double crochet. Into the top. You want to have both loops of that V on your hook. Put the loop back on your hook and drag it through that stitch and chain two. One and two. Single crochet into the next empty space, the box, and chain two. And then a popcorn. So we're doing a popcorn and pinning down a popcorn all the way along. One more. Popcorns are five double crochets. Yeah, so into the top of the first double crochet, put the loop back on your hook and drag it through. Chain two, one and two. Single crochet into this next empty space to pin that popcorn down. Chain two. And now keep going alternating like this all the way until you get to that end. So getting close to the next corner, do my regular chain two and popcorn into that next space. So five double crochets. Make it into a popcorn. Chain two. And now we need to put a popcorn in this bottom one. So I'm going to single crochet into this stitch, chain two, and popcorn. So I'll do my five doubles. If yours is a different size or lines up differently, it's totally fine. So now popcorn into this bottom one. Chain two. And now we want to do the same thing on this side that we did on this side. So it's matching. So single crochet into the top of that double. Like that. Chain two. And now we're just going to keep going the regular way. So into this next one here. May Oops. Because we made a popcorn on this side, I'll make a popcorn on this side. So just mirror it so it's the same on both sides. Now work your way all the way down this side. And I'll meet you when we get here. Now when you get back to this end, it looks like it might not be lined up. But it is. This is our single crochet and that's our popcorn. It's just off to the side. So don't panic. Go into that empty space, make a single crochet. Do your chain two, same as always. Now tip up this popcorn so you can see where we need to slip stitch. And you want to slip stitch to this chain one that we made to pinch it all together. It's that one that has all the stitches on it. It looks awkward, but we're going to slip stitch 
into that one that we used to close up that popcorn. So slip stitch nice and small into there so that keeps us right in the center of that popcorn. And now do your chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And turn your work. Because this we're going to work backwards for this row. And now double crochet straight into that very same stitch. So go right back into that space or that stitch and double crochet. Chain one into the same stitch, double crochet. So we're building a new corner down here like that. Chain one. Now we're going to go all the way around into every single crochet. We're going to do a double crochet and a chain one. And into the top of every popcorn, I just go into that stitch at the top. It's easier to see now from the back side. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that single, chain one, double crochet into the popcorn, chain one, double crochet into the single, chain one, double crochet into the popcorn, chain one. So now we're going to go all the way around building boxes again. One more round of boxes and I'll meet you when you get to the other corner. So we've gotten back down to our popcorn. So into our popcorn. I've done my double crochet and chain one from my single crochet. So now into the popcorn I will make a double crochet, a chain one, a double crochet, a chain two, a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. So that is all into the top of our popcorn and it's building a nice little tip to work into for our next chunk of our other color. And double crochet into that single crochet. Chain one, double crochet into your popcorn. Chain one, and now work your way all the way around doing double crochets, chain one, into the single crochet, into the popcorn, and I will meet you when we get back to the join. Just keep getting closer. There's a single crochet there I have to work into. So I'm still doing my doubles with my chain one. And now into that same stitch, I am going to go into that same stitch and do a double crochet and a chain one. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join. So third chain up or second chain over, or third chain over actually. So this little one here. Because you want two empty chains for the very tip of your shawl. So slip stitch to join and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn and pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. You can turn it over now so you can see the top of your shawl. So this is the back and this is the front. Doesn't it look so cute? So now you're going to keep going. We're going to join our other color yarn and we're going to make the same chunk of double crochets and then our pattern, our fancy bit. So these are the two sections we're doing for the shawl and we'll just take our next yarn color and we want to be attaching on the pretty side now. So popcorn's up. Oh, and we can weave in this tail actually too while we're here. Now take your yarn and we want to join into this very bottom point because we want to be covering up our join with our corner. So put your hook into that corner spot. Loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it through, slip stitch with both to join and drop your tail chain two, one and two. If you join your yarn a different way, then do a chain three because this counts as our first double crochet. So that counts as what we, that's all we want to do into this last corner spot. So now we're just going to work our way around. One double crochet into the next double crochet and one into the stitch. You can work over your tail a little bit if you want to. So now we're just going to get back to doing solid double crochet. One into the stitch one into the space, one into the stitch, 
one into the space. So now we're going to keep going around the poncho doing this. So we're turning it back into solid double crochet. So keep going one into the stitch, one into the space, and I will meet you when we get to the tip. When we get back to the corner, keep doing the same thing. So one into that last stitch and into the corner, we're going to do, because it's our first row of going back to, to double crochets. So we're just going to do one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet. Just because we don't want too much bulk. And then into the next stitch, double, and then into the space, double, into the stitch, double, into the space, double. And now we'll keep going around like this until we get to the join. When you get back to your corner, just keep going until you get to that exact corner spot. Into our last stitch. And into the corner, one double crochet. And we're going to keep going with this yarn, so we're going to chain one and single crochet to the top of that chain to join. So just into the top there, two loops of that stitch onto your hook. Bring your yarn through, wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our single crochet, chain three, one, two, three and one more double crochet into that corner space where you had your finger. So just make sure that it's in the center, double crochet, and now one double crochet going all the way around, same as we did before, making sure you get into your chain, which is that very first one, and into that weird stitch that you have to pull up that front loop. There's your second one, and now working into the stitch all the way around, just doing double crochets. Our corners, when you get to this side, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Keep going all the way around. We did five rows to start. Now we're gonna be doing seven rows for the next, and then go back and make your fancy bit, then nine, then your fancy bit, and just keep going like that. So alternate between doing your solid double crochet and your fancy bit. You can do your fancy bit as often as you want to. I'm going to increase the distance or the amount of my double crochets by two rows per section going down. You could do it so it's matching every five rows. You could decrease it every two rows. Or you could decrease it to four rows, three rows, two rows. You could do it any which way you want. I'm doing five rows, seven rows, nine rows, and I'll meet you back. So I've gotten my poncho as big as I want it to be. I did five rows of double crochet around the neck, and I did seven rows for my next panel, and after that I did 11. You can adjust these, uh, the quantities of the rows of double crochets to fit whatever size poncho you want to make. Less rows if you want it smaller, or more rows if you want it bigger. I just kept putting it on my head and seeing how far it was down on my arm, and keep in mind that crochet will stretch. So now we are ready to do our last edging. So find the corner where you are, have been joining your yarn, and we have the same three spots in that corner area. So we're gonna go into the middle corner, and I've worked over my tail back and forth into the back loops. Take a loop of your main color of yarn, put it on your hook, and slip stitch with both to join. Drop your tail and chain two, one, and two. So that counts as what we, that's all we want to do into this last corner spot. So now we're just going to work our way around. One double crochet into the next double crochet and one into the stitch. You can work over your tail a little bit if you want to. So now we're just going to get back to doing solid double crochet. Just to even out our poncho. So keep going around. I'll meet you at the other end. When we get back to the corner, keep doing the same thing. So one into that last stitch and into the corner, we're going to, because it's our first row of going back to, to double crochets. So we're just gonna do one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet. Just because we don't want too much bulk. And then into the next stitch, double, and then into the space, double, into the stitch, double, into the space, double, and now we'll keep going around like this until we get to the join. 
When you get back to your corner, just keep going until you get to that exact corner spot. Into our last stitch. And into the corner, one double crochet. And we're going to keep going with this yarn, so we're going to chain one and single crochet to the top of that chain to join. So just into the top there, two loops of that stitch onto your hook. Bring your yarn through, wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Chain two more, so a total of five. One and two. And now we're going to turn our work. So flip it over, and now we're going to make boxes again. So wrap your yarn and into that same corner space, one double crochet. So that gives our little box at the very tip of our shawl. Into the next stitch, so this first stitch here, we're going to make our double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, and we're going to keep doing this, making the same boxes all the way around, except we're just doing it in the same color, not in our normal accent color. We're just going to do it in the same color. So keep working your way around, one double crochet into a stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the second stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the second stitch, all the way along, and I'll meet you at the tip of the poncho. When you get to the other end of your poncho, I did my double crochet and chain one. I'm just going to go into that last stitch. So into that stitch, double crochet, chain one. So I didn't skip a stitch right there, I just want it to even out so it's matching on both sides. I always kind of want to do the same corner when I get to the tip. So now into this, into this space, I'm going to do my double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the same space, chain one, and then double crochet into that first stitch, oops, right there, chain one, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing on this side, so it's matching. So into the next stitch I'll do my double crochet. So however you fudge it, it maybe you don't have to fudge yours, but however yours works out on the one side, just do the same on the other side. And now keep going doing your double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, all the way down that side and I'll meet you at the join. When you get back to the join, double crochet and chain one. And now we just want to do a double crochet into that last stitch, just so it matches what we did on the other side. So double crochet, chain one, and we're going to slip stitch to join. So into the third chain over or the third chain up. So one, two, three, or one, two, and three. So just poke your hook in. You want two loops of that stitch on your hook. Bring your yarn through and slip stitch to join. Now we want to slip stitch right into that corner space. So slip stitch into there, because that's where we want to be working from. And now we're going to do these boxes again. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. So there is our chain five. We're going to turn our work. If we don't turn our work, because we're making boxes for the next row, our boxes will start, turn, like they'll be a bit twisting. They won't be going exactly straight. So we're going to turn our work to keep it straight. Wrap your yarn and into that same corner space, the big space, Oop. one double crochet and you want to make it on this side of the chain. Even though there's all the space over here, we want to get it right there. So just get your yarn lined up so it's going to pull up right beside that chain. Like that. Chain one and now into the next, or into this chain. It looks like we're doing a lot all in the same area. Get your hook in and one double crochet, chain one. Skip this space, now one double crochet into each double crochet and one chain on top of each chain. So we're going to be building these boxes again all the way along this side. So wrap your yarn, double crochet into the stitch, chain one, 
wrap your yarn one double crochet into the stitch and because we turned our work we have a nice spot to go into you can totally see your stitch and two loops automatically go on your hook so double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one. So we're doing these boxes all the way along and because we turned our work you can see that there, it kind of straightens up the last round. So instead of kind of twisting to the side, like you can see these ones are off on an angle and then this row pulls it in the opposite direction so you end up getting kind of straight boxes. It will be straight, well they'll be straighter because we turned plus it won't twist at the end. You can see it's quite straight. So keep going and I'll meet you when we get to that end of the poncho. So still work up to that corner, double crochet into the last stitch, chain one, and into your corner, make a corner. So double crochet, chain two, and double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into that very first stitch chain one. So your corner is going to look like that always. So we're just doing the same thing for every corner here. So now keep going back. I'll meet you at the join and we're going to do this row exactly one more time for a total of three rows. Back at the join, I did my chain one. You can tell if you did your chain one, if you just look underneath your hook, there's just one loop of yarn. If you hadn't done your chain one, you'll have two loops of yarn under your hook. So you can just check and if you see two loops that means no chain. So chain one and into this last stitch double crochet, chain one, slip stitch to the third chain, slip stitch into the chain two space and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to turn our work and do this row one more time. So double crochet into that chain two space to make your corner, chain one, and then keep going around doing the same as you did before. The only one you have to kind of wiggle into is this first one because that's a bit close chain one, keep going all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to this join. My friend, she has come to sleep. <laughs> if you hear snoring. So wrap your yarn and into this last stitch. This is the chain, so it's a bit different, but just get in there. Make your double crochet, your chain one and into the third chain, either across or up. Slip stitch to join, so same as always. Slip stitch over into that space. So we're in the right spot. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work. So now we're gonna go back to making a row of solid double crochets. So wrap your yarn and into this very first stitch. Poke your hook in somewhere. It's awkward because it's our chain and we've turned our work, but you just want to push it in and get two loops on your hook or something like that. Double crochet. And now into the space, double crochet, and into the double crochet, a double crochet. So into the space, into the stitch, into the space, into the stitch. So now we're going to keep going around, making one double crochet into the stitch, and one into the space, one into the stitch, one into the space. On the right side of our fabric, we want these stitches looking pretty. So on the same side as your popcorns and just go all the way around. I'll meet you when we reach that end. At the tip of the poncho, just keep working in. So into that last double crochet on the side. Double crochet, one into the space, chain two and one more into the space. Into the first double crochet 
and into the space. So now just keep working your way around. Your corner will look like that and I will meet you at the join. So back at the join, I'm going to go into my last stitch and into the corner. And now to finish it off here, I'm going to do a chain two because I'm going to change colors now. So chain two and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Two loops of that stitch on your hook. Bring it through and bring it through. Yes, those are my kids. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through. Snug that down. And now we can weave in this tail around the corner so we don't have to worry about it later. So that end is now woven in. When we, after we go around it again, we can just cut that one off. So pretty side facing down. We're going to work into the back, into the corner. Put your hook in and loop of your other yarn color, your popcorn color, on to your hook. Bring it through, slip stitch with both to join. Drop your tail, but we can still work over it, so just hold it along the back of your work. Chain two, one and two. If you join your yarn in a different way, do a chain three. And into the same corner space, one double crochet. One double crochet into this next stitch. And one into the next stitch. So our chain counts as a double crochet, so this counts... Oh my gosh, she's so loud. And th so this counts as four double crochets. And now we're going to do a pico. So to do a pico, grab your yarn and chain three, one, two, and three. You can kind of tip your work up a little bit and you'll see that V that you just made, the top of that double. So put your hook into that stitch and there's another loop just here. So you're going to push that loop onto your hook as well. Grab your yarn and just slip stitch. So there is a pico. Four more double crochets into the next four stitches, one into each. Here's two, three, and four. Pico, so chain three, one, two, and three. Into that stitch, the top of the double crochet, put your hook down into the center of the V, get two loops on your hook, grab your yarn, and slip stitch. Four more double crochets, one, I'm going to drop my tail now so I can work it back later. Two, three, and four. And pico, so chain three. One, two, and three. Into the top of that stitch and the next loop over. Push your hook in and slip stitch. And this is what we're going to do all the way along the side of our poncho. It's optional how much you want to space these picots out, and I'll just show you from the pretty side. See the picots face forward, so they're kind of like tiny little popcorns. So keep going like this all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to that corner getting close to the corner. I've just finished my pico. So one double crochet, two, three into a stitch, four into the corner, and pico. So one, two, three, into the stitch and the side, slip stitch, one double crochet into the corner, And whatever we did on this side, we want to do on the other side. So we did one into the corner on each side, and now we need to do one, two, and three double crochets into the stitches. So one, two, and three, and pico one, two, three, pico that one. And there is our corner, nice and even. 
So keep going and I'll meet you when we get to where we started. So I picoed, I've done two double crochets when we get to the join into the last stitch. So there's three. So I'm going to slip stitch to join and slip stitch into that space. I'm doing a loose slip stitch because I need these loops for my pico. And now I'm going to pico. So chain three, one, two, and three. And back down into that stitch, grab the one from the side and do my pico. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one. That's a bit bulky, isn't it? Cut my yarn. Hook up and yarn through. Snug that down. And now we have finished our poncho. We just have to sew in our ends and we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.